Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on how to use the gamification feature to uh, really start engaging your community. Uh, my name is Jason Verdelli, the founder and creator of Social Hub Site, and uh, really excited today. Uh, this is a really, really key uh, factor when it comes to really engaging your community. Um, I think a lot of us, when we start a community, a purpose-driven community, such as a social hub site, um, the biggest challenge a lot of times is really starting to, you know, get people involved, really start to bring the, um, uh, bring focus, bring purpose into that community. And I think that's really where, um, you know, whether it's for an internal company network that you're starting, uh, using a social hub site to be able to maintain that communication and stay on the same page. Um, to maybe a group that you're involved in, uh, or you know, even just using it as a company uh, in, ex externally to you know, connect with referral sources or maybe even connect with some stakeholders uh, around your organization. So, um, you know, really, I think you know, when it comes to that engagement, though, I mean, it's you know, what we want to do. Part, partly, what we want to do is we want to create a sense of connectedness to the brand or connectedness to the community. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is to uh, is what's called gamification. And really, what gamification is is a reward system that uh, promotes the uh, promotes activity, promotes engagement by essentially giving badges away or any type of any type of reward really uh, for as certain activities within the community. So anything from logging into the website or a community to uh, participating um, in discussions, replying to discussions, um, posting out videos, uh, to uh, even you know, being uh, nominated uh, for awards or even having admin, admin award only um, type of awards where, again, so uh, you know, it's, it's things that are not, not, not necessarily measured from a uh, uh, specific metric, like you know, posting out three times uh, in a week, uh, but uh, it might be something where it's, hey, you know, we're recognizing a, um, you know, great activity, uh, both in and out of the community. And I think we have to look at one of the biggest things when it comes to community engagement is really we have to start looking at community engagement, not just inside of the community, but also externally. So how can we start to, you know, start to take what we're, what I'm going to go over today which is, you know, giving badges away and, and, and promoting activity, but also starting to make that connection into the external world. So, you know, giving away a prize, an actual prize to, you know, a person who's a great listener or a social butterfly or whatever your badge names are, uh, whatever you decide to create, um, actually start to make that connection into the real world. And that's really where you start to see the engagement. That's where you start to see the connection between the digital community and the real community, something that people can actually feel, they can touch, they can experience. And I think, you know, it all can start with this gamification feature um, that we've built into Social Hub Site. So that's what I'm going to go over today. Um, and uh, again, I'm just going to keep it simple. I mean, there's a lot of different components to this. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. I'm just going to show you the basics for today just to get you off the ground. And uh, of course, we in later webinars, we'll go over the details, but at least you'll know uh, where to look. So um, the first thing, as you'll see, I mean, basically just to go over this basic, uh, some of the just uh, looking at from the front end standpoint, you know, uh, users can earn, again, earn badges by doing certain things on the website, which we'll go over here in a minute. But you can see what's great is it shows up into their activity feed. So it lets everybody else in the community know that, hey, you know, this person's earned the badge. Here's what they did to get that. Um, makes that person kind of feel good. Um, and again, we, we live in a world right now where, you know, uh, games like Farmville and, and uh, you know, a lot of crazy, uh, uh, crazy games out there really be, you know, re are addictive. Um, and again, this is uh, not too far from that in terms of being able, you know, people want to strive to get that, you know, badge or, you know, especially in the badge names as, you know, uh, social butterfly or great listener or whatever. Um, you know, again, people are just sort of striving to earn that. So um, basically, uh, so it'll show up here once they earn it. Um, they'll also, the user will also, a member will also be able to see their achievements um, on the sidebar here, which I'll show you how to set up here in a bit. Uh, but again, they can see which ad badge they've actually earned. Um, then of course, they can click on that badge to see, um, you know, how they earned that again, just as a reminder, but also, you know, who else, who else has uh, received that badge as well. Um, it becomes really important, especially in a larger community where it's going to be essentially just natural disconnect because there's so many people involved into that community. Um, so, um, you know, again, uh, it does a great job again in, in being able to, to display that to the member. 
And then of course, um, there's the, we can, you can set up an awards, uh, awards page or, you know, achievements page, whatever you want to call it. And, um, you can see again, the member can see which badges they have earned. And you can see, I just have some basic ones here for the demo. Uh, but again, you can go nuts with this. You can, you know, uh, we just had a customer re or client recently that, uh, you know, we, uh, it was themed around construction. So we had, you know, we created a badge called Conehead, <laughs> actually a badge for people that actually logged in, uh, but actually haven't participated yet. So, um, again, you can create the, 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 the type of badges that you can create is pretty much endless. Um, but again, you, you know, at least you have a page here where people can see, okay, here's, you know, here's the badge. Here's what I actually have to do to earn that. Um, and, uh, and again, they can see, of course, which ones they've, they've earned. You can see it's kind of faded out here uh, for the ones they haven't earned. So um, let me just show you real quick on how to actually get it set up. And then what we'll do is I'll give you a little bit of a, a starting point in terms of, uh, you know, really uh, or how to create or not how to just how to create the badges, but sort of a strategy in creating the badges. Um, you know, again, it's a continual process. You want people to continue to keep earning badges. You don't want to, you know, get somebody get to a, a certain point where they're saying, okay, well, I earned all the badges. Now what? Um, again, ultimately you'd want them to continue to participate in the community. But again, if it's a, you know, if they are sort of motivated by um, having uh, motivated uh, by participating, but also by these awards, again, you want to create that continual, um, continual award reward system. And I think, Again, if you think about it this way, and it's probably going to sound wrong, but if you think about a, a pet <laughs> that we have, you know, we reward our pets um, by doing certain things. Again, there's psychologically, there's really no difference between, you know, uh, giving a, a pet a treat uh, versus actually giving a, you know, a member in a community, uh, you know, a badge uh, to some extent, giving, making them feel connected, making them feel good, making them feel uh, as if they are a valued member of the community. Um, again, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, compare your members to pets, <laughs> obviously, but again, I think you can understand, again, there's a, a, a psychology there that um, plays into this. So to, to set this up, what we want to do is um, go to admin options, and then we're going to go to site rewards here. And then uh, from here, again, you're going to see is you're going to see uh, the community badges. Now, what we've done is we've actually created some default badges here just to get you started. Uh, but again, you can add an, any number of badges that you'd like, um, as well as you can actually, you know, delete these or edit these uh, to uh, to your liking. But um, so I'm just going to dive in here, just kind of show you just the basics of this, um, in, in creating or in sort of editing and creating a badge. Basically, you have the uh, badge title up here, so you can see here. Here's a thought leader. Um, we're calling this one thought leader, and and uh, this badge here's where you put the description. For that badge. So basically, how did this person actually earn the badge? So, you know, it says this badge recognizes someone who has shared at least 10 ideas within our community. Um, basically, in this case, we're talking about activity posts, which I'll show you um, here in a bit. Uh, the excerpt, this is actually what's going to show up on the front page uh, once they actually, um, what, you know, uh, once they uh, in their activity feed again. So, because again, if you, this might be a longer description um perfect for the page uh, the achievements or re rewards page or whatever you're going to call it but again in the excerpt again we just want to be able to show uh, for like activity feeds and such we want to just have a shortened version of it uh, if you look to the right here obviously we can um, add remove i mean you, know, you can add a badge uh picture here now we've cre created a template here for it that you can use um, but again you can you know kind of create your own badge your own uh circle here and so forth. And again, if you need help with any of this, of course, you can contact us directly at Social Hub site. Uh, we can work with you to actually help you create some badges. And um, we have a, a team of people that are actually uh, here to help you with that. Um, but the uh, you can also see, so we go down here, we can actually, you can a person can earn a badge essentially by a couple, through a couple different methods. One is they can earn it by, um, by achieving, um, a minimum number of points. Now you can see here that there's a, you can actually reward points for achieving that particular um, step uh, or achieving this particular badge. So, uh, but again, you can actually create a badge based upon the minimum number of points. So again, if people, uh, you know, basically get so many badges or earn so many points, um, you can actually create a badge based upon that. Um, so you might have like a mat, we created in the demo, we created a master community, uh, badge, which basically says, hey, if you earn 500 points, meaning that you probably have, you know, the other three or four badges that we've created, um, you can, so you can base it on that. You can base it based upon submission. 
Um, this basically, um, it, and I won't go into this right now, but um, essentially you can go onto a page and create a review. Uh, so somebody can actually uh, uh, post a, um, or, you know, uh, essentially um, you can actually submit saying, hey, we want to uh, earn this particular badge by, you know, saying that we're the best, you know, best members or something. So they can actually submit a form to be able to be, um, uh, uh, to be recognized for that. So again, there's a review process that goes there. Think of it um, such as any, like, you know, an essay contest or something like that. Again, you have to re essentially submit something um, in order to, uh, to, to actually earn it, earn that award. Uh, the uh, submission, which is the auto accepted. Again, this is something where if they actually just submit it, it's not, it doesn't have to actually be reviewed by you, uh, which again, you would see, um, you would get an email notification based upon the submission, but you could also check it out here in the left-hand side under submissions. But um, so this is saying, Hey, you know what, if you have, uh, if they have to, you know, submit a review on something or whatever they can, um, they'll automatically earn that badge. So think about, you know, giving a, a badge away for customers to give a testimonial, maybe reviewing the business. Um, this is a great way for them to be able to earn that type of badge uh, by, by um, automatically submitting that. And, and you can actually, and again, uh, we'll go over this in a later webinar, but you can go, you can actually set up a page and there's an option to add the uh, badge short code into the page where they can actually, um, with the uh, submission form there. So um, nomination, uh, same same idea. Again, people can be nominated. Uh, you can get other community members to nominate, uh, say, you know, best member or something like that. Um, so you can do that. And you can also do admin awarded only. This is where you can actually go into the user profile and um, you can actually um, automatically add a or award a, a badge to the user. So, um, you know, if I go into, I'll just, I'll just pull up a, a random one here. So if I go into here, then I can, you know, I can add, I can see the re um, awards that were achieved. I can also um, actually add an award so I can, you know, uh, give this person actually a thought leader award or a community master award in this particular case. Um, let's go back here. And so, um, and then uh, the most popular one though that I would suggest starting with is probably completing steps. I mean, these are other um, these are other great methods, but really, you know, you want to make sure your community is engaged because not everybody's going to be submitting things and submitting things into forms again if they're not really active to begin with. Um, so, um, I would start by completing steps, and I'm going to show you how this works here in a second. Um, sequential steps. This just means that again, uh, the whatever steps that you're putting down here in terms of they have to be earned in the, a particular order. So you want somebody to say write posts, um, write say status updates first, and then and then you want them to be able to you know rep you know reply second or something like that. Again, you can you can do that um, by just checking this off. Um, show earners. This obviously will show the uh, people that have earned that badge on the achievement page. And then, of course, the congratulations text. This is basically the text that uh, once the person has actually achieved the award, this is what they'll uh, see once they've uh, done that. And uh, maximum earnings. This is just the number of maximum number of times a user can earn a badge. Um, so uh, basically, again, if it's something where it's you know you're if it's uh, writing like say one activity message or something, um, again, you're only going to able be able to earn that once. Uh, versus you know if you say if you say we, every time they post a status update. And, um, you know, you don't want that person to keep earning it based upon um, if you're giving that badge away for, you know, writing one activity uh, or, or status update. So um, hidden just shows, it says, okay, show to user, uh, hidden to user. This is based, this basically just, um, uh, this is basically pertaining to their profile so they can see what achievements they've won. I usually just keep this to showing, uh, to show to the user. And then down here to requiring steps, as you can see, there's um, you can set up everything from logging into the website to commenting on a post, commenting on a specific post. Um, you can see the variables change based upon uh, what you select. You know, writing a new post. So say if you have a multi-authored community, um, you can actually uh, choose this option here. You can say, okay, publish a new post. Well, once they've published, say, 10 posts, you're going to give them some sort of, hey, I'm awesome, or you're awesome because you write a lot of posts award whatever that name happens to be. <laughs> um, and then, you know, posting a new page, uh, spe you know, specific uh, achievement type, um, again, a community badge, or again, you can, create multi you can create different types of badges here. Again, this is a little bit complex 
again, I'm not, I advise again, you're starting off, you're probably not uh, going to uh, probably focus on this particular uh, requirement. Um, where I would start though, let's just skip ahead to that. You can see it's pretty comprehensive, but ultimately I want you to get started in the right uh, direction. What I usually say is start, when you're starting out your badging system, we want to start with simple things. So this could be, uh, what I usually say is start by, you know, either writing an activity stream message or maybe writing a group message, which again, which is great because again, group ha groups have email notifications which are tied into the posting. So again, somebody posts something into say, um, if it's for a membership organization, if you're uh, assigning groups or assigning committees to groups, um, so say you have a marketing committee or something like that, um, and you know, uh, you want to encourage people to maybe post their ideas, um, then you know you might want to create a community activity here where okay, if they write you know one group act uh, group activity stream message, then which again you can edit down here um, just what it is. Uh, if they do that, then you know obviously they'll be able to win or um, achieve this award and. Um, and then you can also, again, you can add steps to this. So if you want them to do this, plus another, maybe, you know, uh, commenting or uh, maybe in a community activity, maybe replying to um, an activity stream message. Um, again, you can do that. Um, so again, basically what I would say, what I would start off with is to uh, focus on simple things for your initial badges. And again, you don't want to like start off and saying, okay, they got to write 10 messages, 10, 10 status updates inside of a group. Um, so for a membership organization, you have a marketing committee, you know, you don't want to start people off saying that, you know, like they haven't earned one badge and then, you know, the haven't weren't earned one badge yet, uh, but they posted say like five or six different messages. So that you want to try to get them to earn badges right away, get them to feel as if they are um, a part of that, uh, they're, that they're earning something that they're being recognized for their efforts. Um, so starting small, starting with that, you know, group activity stream message, that's a good place to get going. Um, my suggestion would probably be to start with, you know, again, writing an activity stream message, writing a group activity stream message, replying to an activity stream. Again, this is, these are all things that are triggered in notifications and email notifications within the system. So, um, essentially this will start to get other people engaged. Um, so, so people are starting to get updates or starting to get replies from other people. Um, you know, favoriting, favoriting activity streams. This will get people to actually read the, uh, messages you know, sending a friend request, this is encouraging people to connect with each other, um, accepting a friend request, obviously, this is for people just accepting it. Um, and then sending a private, uh, sending a uh, private message, obviously, this is encouraging, or encouraging people to connect a little bit further um, to the community and so forth. And you can see there's a number of different options, you know, uh, by, you know, creating groups, joining groups, um, inviting someone to join a group, uh, and just, a, just a number of different things you can do. Um, but again, I would, um, at least for now, I would um, keep it simple. So we're just going to start, you know, you might want to just start off here with just, you know, writing an activity stream message. And uh, so here, I'll just go ahead and um, actually, I don't have anything down here for this one. So I'm going to go ahead here and save the steps. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, so basically uh, to create again to, if you want to create a new one you can just go to add new or if you go to the community badges page of course add new will be at the top of that as well and then um, again you can just add your your uh, badge title uh, setting your badge image your excerpt and then going down here into you know how they actually earn the badge um I'm going to skip for now. I'm going to skip over just a lot of the details here. We will create, uh, we will have another um, a webinar here as far as, you know, getting a little bit more into the detail or advanced uh, parts of this. But ultimately, um, let's go back here to the front page. I mean, ultimately what we want to do is we want to, um, one is we want to be able to, uh, you know, again, have, have a page here set up for this. And then, you know, for people to see. But two is we also want to uh, lead by example. I think, you know, as being a community manager, social media manager behind this, um, really what we want to start doing is we want to actually um, be proactive. So, you know, put that status update out there. Post that status update. And it's whether it's a link, uh, you, know, you can share links, you can add photos, you can record a video if you want. Uh, we got a built-in video. I mean, you don't even have to, you don't even have to, um, uh, you know, embedded or anything like that, it automatically does that for you. You know, sharing documents, um, adding members into posts. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do to get people engaged. 
you know, posting into groups um, and so forth. But you, you know, starting, if you, if you start by example, people start seeing that you're, you are earning these badges um, and that's really all it takes. When they see that, you know, starting to earn these badges that you're, that you're being recognized, then, then that's where really that's where the, Hey, you know, I want to, you know, kind of follow the leader. I want to be recognized. I want to show that I'm a valued member into the community. Um, and, and that's where, again, you know, we built it in here. So again, it lets everybody else know. So it's people, other people are starting to see, Hey, other people are getting awards and so forth. Um, and it, that's really what's going to trigger, trigger your engagement. Um, and you know, in the fact that of course, once they win an the award, they get an email saying they won, uh, there's a lot of different uh, factors that we have built in here that take care of a lot of the, uh, you know, the communication part. But ultimately, again, you want to uh, create, kind of create a culture around, you know, the gamification part. So, you know, it's, again, you can see there's a lot of different things that you can do to earn the badge, uh, earn these, these awards. But the, probably I would say, you know, initially starting off with, uh, you know, achievable rewards. So you can see, again, you know, the social butterfly, you know, all you have to do for that is to, uh, you know, post one activity stream message. That's it. Um, you can see here, you know, you, uh, this particular user has done that, uh, you know, great listener. I mean, you know, here's a uh, you know, comment on act three activity posts. Uh, so, you know, again, that's, that's a pretty achievable thing to do. Um, but again, of course, as you go, you're always going to want to probably create additional badges. Once you start getting your leaders, people that are starting to really communicate and participate, you want to create additional badges to make sure that you are um, uh, accommodating them and, you know, making them really feel as if, you know, Hey, there's an additional badge I can get. Um, you know, there, there's no like ending point saying, Hey, you know, I won this award and now I can just be lazy and not do anything. Um, you know, you want to kind of create that continual uh, stream of, you know, awards. And at some point, you know, somebody, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you have an award that says, you know, if you get 5,000 points, you know, you're recognized in, you know, our magazine or our, our e-newsletter. I mean, whatever this, will, you can win an iPad. Um, really, you know, the more connected you make this to the actual community um, and the real things, that's where it becomes valuable. Nobody really cares whether or not you or, you know, if they win a social, bu social butterfly award or, you know, great listener award, nobody's really in it for that. Right. Like nobody really, I mean, it's kind of cool for a little bit, but then it's like, okay, well I won that award. But, you know, really, you know, I'm not really seeing it. I don't really feel that I've won that or th that I earned that. Um, maybe they do. But really what makes the impact, can make a true impact is, is where you start to uh, tie this into, you know, real war. So as I mentioned before, you know, if they, you know, maybe for the, once they post a status update within a group and they win a particular award, you know, you mail out something to them with a $5, you know, maybe a $5 gift card to Starbucks or something. I mean, this is marketing, you know, if it's, if you're talking about, you know, when we talk about marketing. I mean, a lot of people always think, okay, it's about getting new customers. Well, it's not, it's about engaging the, the people that can help you achieve your desired result. Um, you know, again, it ultimately it might lead to more members, more customers uh, and that sort of thing. But I mean, ultimately what we want to do is we want to engage our community. If we have community engage, if we have engaged community members, these people will do anything. We, they, we said, you know, please give us $20. I mean, they probably would do it if they were felt that connected. Um, so, but again, if you tie it in, um, you know, add, tie in actual, actual awards to the, to the badges, um, things like that, you can start tying it into your marketing. That's where it becomes extremely valuable. If you just sit back here and rely on just what goes on to social hub site and, you know, um, just what they do here, ultimately, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be effective, but not as effective. I, I don't think is in terms of um, making people, people feel as if it's a, you know, their community, their digital community is a part of their culture. So um, with that said, again, we're going to finish up. Um, I think, but overall, I think, I think you've given you, given you some ideas and given you some starting points here uh, to get, to get going, at least, you know, where to look. Um, and uh, you know, I think that's uh, again, the gamification feature is one heck of a feature to, to get, your community, you know, kind of get them off their butts and get them onto your community. Um, there's a value in, you know, obviously in, in, you know, sharing updates and in communicating, you know, much more effectively and efficiently. Um, we all know that, you know, but we all, we all know, of course, that the challenge is just gaining the time, attention and energy from those around us that can help us achieve our mission. So um, this is one heck of a way to do it. Um, and so what I would say is, again, if you, if you have any questions as you're getting started, I mean, obviously, 
um, you know, if you're a seasoned veteran and you, you, you uh, know what you're, you know, know exactly where you want to go with it, that's excellent. But of course, you know, if you want it to, if you want to, uh, need a little bit of help here and getting started, you can contact us directly here at social hub site. Uh, be glad to work with you, uh, to help, you know, get the uh, gamification feature actually set up and, and, uh, getting moving for your organization. You can contact us. You can get down to the bottom of the website if you want. Um, uh, we have our phone number here, 855-4321-HUB, um, as well as our contact page. Very simple. You can just click on the you know, contact link down there at the bottom, fill this form out, and uh, we'll be glad to uh, help, you get, help you get it off the ground, help you get your, um, uh, this part. This, really, this, is, this way you can start to really run with it and um, you know, uh, but at least you're off on the right, the right foot there. So with that said, if you have any questions, again, uh, feel free again to contact us directly here at Social Website. Again, you can also, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, you can also go to your dashboard um, and submit a question directly in here. And uh, of course, I'm in, I'm in my demo account, so you don't actually see my name up here. But um, again, you can put the question uh, right inside of here in, in um, your social website dashboard. And with that said, I uh, want to thank you for watching the video or watching the uh, webinar today. And we will go from there. So have a great rest of your day.